Hello everyone, we're Mate Toss and this is part 10 of the Dragon Ball What If series if Piccolo was never born. Cleona arrives at Bulma's place and tells her to help Android 18 while he fights off the imperfect cell. He stands off against the cell ready to give it his all. Cell just mocks Krillin and says that he would spare him if he stepped aside. This makes Krillin mad and he charges up instantly to Kaioken times 30. He knows that he won't be able to defeat Cell but he plans just to hold him off until the others get here. While Cell underestimated Krillin, he was able to beat Cell using full power. Krillin tried to use some of his combos techniques but they weren't working because Cell had the same techniques. Android 18 saw this and decided to help Krillin fight Cell together and pull some teamwork. Cell gets angry and charges at Android 18, ready to absorb her. Krillin pushes her out of the way and blasts Cell with everything he has, but it wasn't enough and gets stabbed with Cell's tail. He yells at 18 to fly away. Here, she listens and starts to fly away. Krillin forms a little destructive disc and cuts off Cell's tail and quickly uses a solar flare. Then Krillin grabs a hold of Cell's tail and flies towards the direction of the others. They finally recovered from the solar flare and started to fly towards Krillin. They sense his energy fading and rush over there. Cell quickly recovers and punches Krillin away. Cell tries to fly to 18 but Krillin keeps getting in his way so Cell gets upset and blasts Krillin through his chest killing him. In the background 18 witnesses this and sees how hard Krillin tried to protect her and it shocks her. She's about to jump to fight but the others arrive to fight. They'll jump into a fight with Cell while Yamcha tries to find Krillin quickly. 18 is next to Krillin's body to try to keep him alive while she flies towards Yamcha to help Krillin. Back to the others, they start to beat on Cell and they are doing well on it. After a while, Cell pleads with Vegeta and Nappa to let him absorb 18 so he can become perfect and give them a real challenge. With Vegeta and Nappa wanting to test their newfound power, they help him absorb 18 so Vegeta, Nappa, and Cell fight against Goku, Gohan, and Tien. Yamcha gives Krillin a sense of being, and all three of them see the big brawl and are confused that Vegeta and Nappa are fighting with Cell. Krillin tells 18 to stay back while him and Yamcha would help fight off Cell. They charge up and help Tien fight Cell. Goku and Gohan pull a technique that they have been working on. They stack up Super Saiyan and Kaioken together and they beat on Vegeta and Nappa and knock them out, but this does knock them out as well. The humans are out of sense of being, so they are the only ones left to stop Cell. Cell easily beats on Tien and Yamcha when he absorbs a lot of their energy. He beats on Krillin and blasts him with the Kamehameha and Krillin is barely conscious afterwards. 18 saves Krillin and says that she will let Cell absorb her if she keeps them alive and he accepts that deal. Krillin tries to stop but is barely able to move his body. Cell absorbs 18 and becomes perfect. He lets Krillin know that he will have a tournament in 10 days and then he flies off while Krillin passes out. That's where we end off part 10. We hope you enjoy and we're going to work on part 11 as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.